Hello everyone. It's going to rain soon. This red uh, daily leaf bloomed yesterday. It started. See, that's why you see they have dried because it was yesterday. I did not record yesterday. So, let me show you what is new that I did not share. This is new daily leaf bloom. Then if you see that is a uh, gladiolus, white gladiolus. Let me keep them straight so that you can see their bloom. This one too. This is a lace cap hydrangea. Then see this bobo hydrangea. By the way, I did not say today's date, which is 22nd July. It is already raining. This is sweet summer hydrangea. Now they already have some baby bloom or the birds, you can say. And here you see this Annabelle hydrangea started drying. This is a hydrangea close to this honey crisp apple. Last year I planted, see their blooms, they look very healthy. But last year I bought this plant on sale and the plant was not in very good condition. But this year they look very healthy. And in the past week I watered every day. So that they will get enough water and they will bloom nicely. So I think it worked. See this yellow marigold near this white rhododendron. I just wanted to show you that I kept watering every day this Annabelle hydrangea, that itopioni, that itopioni. I used to water every day in the hot summer, so that's why they continue blooming. See the condition of my purple basil if you see their leaves are eaten by some insects is marigold near these tomato plants that is the pepper then I am here uh, to show you these daily blooms Zinnia started blooming. Annabelle, sorry, invincible limeta. It was so hot past days. They are so dry. I came to this starry starry night. Hardy hibiscus. Or rose mellow. Every day I miss it when I come late evening to water. Uh, the blooms are closed. So today only one is opened and it is raining. You can see the raindrops. But you can see there are so many blooms that I could not record. See, oak leaf hydrangea and the trumpet vine. Though it is raining, I am holding an umbrella and recording because Saturday, Sunday I will be very busy then I will miss sharing anything that happened in this week. So I will try to catch a little bit. I waited fast four years. Last year only few blooms and this year a lot. 
I am talking about this trumpet vine. Finally, I have given little bit support to this trumpet vine so that they can survive and the lawn mower will not chop the branches and they can survive for next next year this one too so because of the stick the lawn mower will not chop the branch uh, because I can show you this was chopped I can't believe there is one plum. Can you see? Okay. This is the proof. This is my plum plant. Okay. Oh, I am so happy. Finally. At least I have one plum. <laughs> and this is my... Moon rock hydrangea. I will take closer if you can differentiate between the other hydrangea. Right now all kind of hydrangea are white. So this is moon rock. One I have on my west side garden. One here. This is the brick line of the third circle. You can see the other plants. So the past 3-4 weeks it was so hot. No water. And I cannot water all these. So they are so, so dry. You see, this is one rudabekia. I had transplanted that, these. So just see the status. This is the black lace uh, elderberry. The color is faded instead of dark color. See how they are looking. But whatever it is, just see the garden from this side. Every plant can't look beautiful all weeks. They take turn one by one. Let me just walk a little bit. This is one of Amjad Sidam. So these were the pretty pink pink bloom. Remember these are the seed head. See that is a wisteria. Sasta daisy are drying. You can see these iris were the first to bloom in the month of April. And you see this uh, hardy hibiscus. The dark color. The dark red. They, they are having so many birds. So soon I can share their blooms with you. Other Sasta daisy. Drying. And these are the butterfly weed seed head. If you see. These are the seed head. I am showing you after a few days. I will show you how they are airy inside. Like smoke. And then this Rudabekia. This is the mixed Rudabekia. A month ago, they were the most beautiful bloom in the garden. This is the Arabella Clematis. Few Zinnia. They bloomed a lot, this day lily. So, these are now looking old. And see these blooms. Then uh, I wanted to show you this uh, vanilla strawberry hydrangea. See the blooms. They could not open completely but they started to dry because of the hard sun in the past weeks. It's, this is the proof. Otherwise they are supposed to be fresh 
this color somehow i feel this year uh, there was no rain and hardly there is rain and uh, the plants they are suffered a lot in these past weeks see this um, i think millenium onion opening it may take few more days to completely open see this this is the president uh, clematis very pretty color right so this is uh, just behind this vanilla strawberry hydrangea and this is a type of uh, day lily see So see this vanilla strawberry from the back side also. So you see there is little rain and also sun. So there may be window, one semicircular window we see generally. So this is from the back side of the vanilla strawberry. it has become a huge shrub but i love it then i want to show you this uh, tiger lily so it surprises me when i saw in the picture i did not like them but when they bloom and i see their picture or videos i simply love them there are so many birds to open and this big leaf hydrangea on this side of the new dawn climbing rose see last year there were many many blooms and this year not a single bloom not a single bloom let me zoom the tiger lily first time i am seeing those butterfly do there are more you can see Let's see. Yes, the birds are still there. Do you see? see these yellow day lily and then i wanted to show you these blooms white hardy hibiscus but in the day time it is so hot and so bright whenever 
like now only i was able to come and they are almost going to close see they are all closed i wanted to show you the limelight hydrangea so you see they are all filled with a lot of buds because in september october they will be the one of the few plants who looks very very beautiful so this is the, the time they produce their buds and slowly they open and see this uh hookara because it is very bright not shade enough for the plant so the colors are little bit faded phlox this is that check mark trilogy wisella then uh, this is the um, i was waiting for a long time for these blooms but i don't see lot of bloom this is a um, little quick fire little quick flower only 3 4 buds i wanted it to survive it is a beautiful plant lot of rudovicia this is new i transplanted from the central garden to here then i will take you this is the one um, i forgot the variety name uh, one uh, had uh, clematis uh, it needs support anyway i have planted it here thinking i have one on the other side so on this side the same variety and see these blooms i want i came here to show you these this is the dwarf crepe myrtle which blooms a lot beautiful plant then this is also a new i think little quick fire hydrangea i forgot um i believe it is little quick fire hydrangea that i bought from home depot last year but um it has developed a lot of buds so it will do fine i think i have watered few times when there was no rain at all but not every day then close to this see this russian says these blooms they stay for months so it's a beautiful plant i will stop today's video here thank you for watching